Hey y'all, it's Costa. I help people break the system to build a better future. Today we're talking about how to protect your assets from Medicaid. Think about this, about 70% of people age 65 and over will need some form of long-term care. For most of us, the cost of long-term care is completely unmanageable, which is why over 83 million individuals in the United States, as of July 2021, rely on Medicaid to supplement this outrageous financial burden. Medicaid is the largest payer in the US for long-term care. But what I need you to understand is Medicaid isn't guaranteed to anyone. And if not properly planned for, can easily put your home and life savings at risk. First, let's briefly discuss the different ways to pay for long-term care. Spoiler alert, there aren't many. You'll have to decide between paying out of pocket, accessing long-term care insurance, or Medicaid. Medicare doesn't cover any part of long-term care. Remember that. Paying out of pocket is the most painful option and should be your last resort. The average yearly cost of a nursing home is anywhere from $108,000 to $145,000. And that comes out to be between $8,000 and $12,000 per month, which most people don't have. Now this will quickly drain your family savings and force them to liquefy all assets, often including their home, to pay for care. Long-term care insurance takes decades of planning and forethoughts, and as a result, most families turn to Medicaid to pay for long-term care. So how can you protect your assets from Medicaid? All right, so let's think about this. You've worked your entire life to purchase a home, build wealth, and collect savings for your loved ones to receive a healthy inheritance to continue your legacy, right? It's possible to preserve these assets, but you have to do it through proper Medicaid estate planning. Now understand this, Medicaid is a means-tested program. This means that applicants need to have limited assets and low income to qualify. Unfortunately, Families who don't know about Medicaid estate planning will oftentimes either spend their own money and drain their savings until they're under the limits, or they'll attempt to hide money in ways that violate Medicaid rules, which disqualifies them from Medicaid when they finally apply. If you're improperly hiding money from Medicaid, it will disqualify you from receiving long-term care benefits. Get in touch with an elder law attorney to help you create a plan to qualify for Medicaid while allowing you to legally protect money from Medicaid. Understood? Good. I want you to remember this. To qualify for Medicaid, an applicant needs to meet strict financial requirements, including assets and income limits. The asset and income limits refer to the value of assets or amount of income that the law allows a person to have and still qualify for Medicaid. Limit requirements will vary between state, and as a result, the amount of money an applicant needs to protect depends on where they live. The law exempts certain assets and incomes from the asset and income limits. Even though the law limits the amount of income and assets a Medicaid applicant can have, having excess assets or income won't necessarily mean an automatic Medicaid disqualification. Even with the excess income, an applicant can still qualify for Medicaid by spending down surplus cash. However, to avoid ineligibility, an applicant needs to follow some set spend down rules, which vary from state to state. As a result, an applicant needs to be strategic when implementing spend down strategies to protect money from Medicare. In general terms, you need to know the max amount of money you can legally make in your state to qualify for Medicaid, which will normally mean you need to prove you're in the bottom 10% of wage earners and make sure your assets and income above the bottom 10% are legally signed out of your name before applying. The very last thing I want to talk with you about is the look back period. This is very important. As I mentioned earlier, there is a limit to the amount of assets and income an applicant can have to be eligible. Some applicants decide to give away or sell assets below fair market value in order to meet the limit requirements. Wink, wink. Medicaid sets a time frame or look back period to review any asset sales or gifts that were made prior to filing the application. 
most states have a 60 month look back period. This means that any applicant who has gifted or sold their assets within 60 months of their Medicaid application date will be ineligible for Medicaid for a defined period of time known as the penalty period. I know this is incredibly complicated, but I want to make you aware of your options and encourage you to start thinking about how you'll pay for long-term care. My best advice is to get in touch with an elder law attorney or long-term care insurance provider to start the process of building a plan and looking at your options. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. I'd be happy to help.